Thanks family, friends and loved ones gathering at Greater Grace Baptist Church in Center Point this afternoon to say their final goodbyes to Ad Adriana Pearson. Yeah, she was the 12 year old girl who was shot and killed last Wednesday inside her home in what police are calling a drive by shooting. Our Chastity Maxey was at the funeral today and joins us live with more Chastity. Catherine, Josh, understandably, Adriana's family did not want to talk to the media today. But when I spoke to her mother last week, she told me that Adriana was in her bedroom with two of her friends when those deadly shots were fired. And today her family, friends and those who loved her were here to pay their respects to the girl that they affectionately called Minnie. A sea of red and white for Adriana Pearson, colors representing Irwin Middle School, where she was a seventh grader. Dozens of family, friends, and classmates gathered in the sanctuary of Greater Grace Baptist Church to mourn together, cry together, and remember their loved one whose life was stolen. This is um, what our church does. I didn't get a chance to meet her personally, uh, but what I do know is we're in this community. So when something happens to a person in our community, it happens to all of us. Pastor Lawrence Jackson says he was devastated to learn about another senseless crime in Birmingham and wanted to show Adriana's family they weren't alone. So our church reached out to this family and because God has blessed us with the campus, I feel like it's significant enough to hold certain funerals. I just wanted them to know that they're welcome to do it and so um, they end up coming here so we can celebrate this life. Pastor Lawrence spoke from the book of Psalms offering hope for hard times. He says no one wants to bury a child, but the situation is worsened because of the way Adriana died. He says on this journey called life, we're going to be faced with challenges, many of which we don't understand. You have to trust God um, even in these situations because that's the only hope we have. And you have to find comfort in the fact that one day there will be an answer. Maybe I won't be living when it happens. But if we keep planting seed in the ground of positive change, we, we got to believe one day change is coming. Now, two teenagers, an 18 year old and a 19 year old, are charged with Adriana, with Adriana's murder. Now, Greater Grace is offering $1,000 to Adriana's family in hopes that they will start a scholarship in her honor. Reporting live here in Cedar Point, Chastity Maxey, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.